Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you create a slider in a WordPress website. And using this plugin, you can slide anything in a WordPress website. Let me show you an example. Here, I have created a slider. On the first slide, we have title, description and button. On the second slider, we have call to action, countdown timer, map and an image. And on the next slider, I have an image and WooCommerce products. This is a demo WooCommerce website and I have added the WooCommerce products in a slider. So using this free plugin, you can add any block in a slider. It can be title, description, button, image, image gallery. You can also add videos. You can add post grid in a slider. If you are using WooCommerce website, then you can add WooCommerce products in a slider. The name of the plugin is Sliderberg. This is a free plugin and I'll show you how to use this plugin to create a slider in a WordPress website. So let's see how does this work. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. This is a demo WooCommerce website. So let's go to dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for Sliderberg. So this is the plugin Sliderblock WordPress plugin for Gutenberg. Click on install now and click on activate. Let's keep it. All right, so we are on the dashboard of the slider Berg. And using this plugin, you can create post slider also. You can also create landing pages. And here you will see the getting started guide. Now let's go to one of the pages here. I have one sample page here. So let's click on edit. And we're going to add a slider on the sample page. I'll show you how it works. So this is the sample page. Click on the plus sign and search for slider berg. So this is the block that we are going to use. Add it. Now it says choose the slider type. Currently we have only one block slider. More features will be coming soon. So I'm going to select block slider and you will see one slide is created automatically. It is asking you to select the background image. You can either select an image or you can use background color. I'm going to select one of the images which I have already uploaded to the website. So let's select this image here. And this is going to be a background image for this slider. Let's click on the option here and you will see the settings of this slider. And this is the position of the content you will see. It is currently set to center center if i change it to top left you will see it at the top left i'm going to keep it on center center let's go to background settings currently we are using an image as a background you can also set minimum height for the background i'm going to change it to let's say 600 pixel and you will see change in the background let's go back to background settings we have the image there if you want to replace it you can replace it this is the position of the image you can change it to center center top right top left or bottom right. This is for the image. If you want to set the image to the fixed background, you can enable this option and you will see that the image will be fixed in the background and the content will move. I'm going to disable it. Then we have overlay settings. From here, you can add overlay color for the image. Let's try this one. Let's change the opacity. And you will see we have now an overlay color there. And with that, we have advanced settings. So these are the settings for the slider. All right, now on this slide, we have this title. Let's add some text on it. And let's change the color for the text. All right, so this is the color. I'm going to add some dummy content here and let's change the color also. Let's try this one. Let's change the size. And from here, you can change the style settings for this content. If I close this one, this is how it will look. Now let's say I want to add a button. So I'm going to click on the plus sign here and let's look for the button or search for button. And let's drag it and drop it here. Close it. And we have a button here. Let's select it and change the background color for the button and the text color. All right, so these are the button settings. Let's close this one and change the text learn more. So this is for the button. If you want to change the alignment for the text, you can change it. Let's change this one also. All right. So on this slide, we have 
title description and a button so this is the first slide let's try another slide click on add slide here and we are going to add one more slide here let's select background image let's try this one and i'm going to change the height also let's make it equal height 600 pixel and let's add overlay color for this one also let's use a blue color now i do not want this title here so i'm going to delete this title and i'm going to delete this content also and instead of that i'm going to add a column let's click on the plus sign and search for columns and i'm going to add two columns here in the first column i'm going to add let's say call to action we have call to action here okay so this is the call to action we will customize it later and in the second column let's say i want to add an image so i'm going to add image here let's add image from media library let's change the style settings for this one color will be let's say white for the heading for the description also let's change the color to white and let's change the size also for the button i'm going to change the color let's say i want to add something else below this click on plus sign here and let's search for any other option that we can add let's try a countdown all right so we have got countdown here let's customize it close this one and change the color settings for the countdown all right so we have got the countdown timer now click on the plus sign again and let's let's try for another widget that we can add here let's try google maps and you will see the map is added here you can change the location as of now i'm going to keep it as it is so second slide will look like this right and let's add one more slide click on add slide and for this one i'm going to use background color and let's change the height let's make it 600 pixel let's change the background color something right let's make it white and again i'm going to delete this title and the description and let's add two columns this time i'm going to use this one and in this column i'm going to add products so click on the plus sign here and search for product and we have the product collection so i'm going to add it here and let's say i want to show new arrivals this is a woocommerce demo website so i can show the woocommerce products here so i'm going to select three columns and it will show only three products you will see it here now again you can customize it you can change the style settings let's close this one this is how it will look and in this column let's add an image all right so we have this one let's select the entire slide and we will check the settings of this slide now these are the basic settings of the slide currently it is set to full width you can also change the width to custom or to wide or to default so i'm going to select the full width the transition effect is set to slide you can change it to fade or you can change it to zoom we will see how does this look the transition easing is set to ease let's make it ease out autoplay you can enable autoplay and the autoplay speed will be 5000 millisecond which is nothing but five seconds pause on hover is enabled then we have navigation settings the navigation type is set to bottom arrows you will see the arrows here you can set to top arrows so you will see the top arrows here or you can set to split arrows and split arrows will be like this you can keep it outside the content or over the content you will see now the arrows on the slider itself now this is the shape of the arrows you can make it circle or square you can change the size to large or medium arrow color and arrow background color let's change the arrow background color then we have opacity for the arrows you can change the opacity vertical position you can change the vertical position of the arrows then we have dots you can hide the dots at the bottom you will see the dots if you do not want you can hide the dots if you enable the dots you can see the settings for the dots add to dot color 
and with that we have advanced settings so these are the basic settings of the slider let's save it and let's see how does this look so this is the first slide you will see an arrow here if i click on it you will see the second slide on the second slide we have image call to action countdown timer and map if i go to next you will see we have an image and we also have the products from the woocommerce store you can change the position of the arrows let's try changing the position of the arrows save it let's refresh it all right so the position of the arrows has been changed if you do not want them here you can keep it at the bottom you will see the dots also here and you will see the zoom effect if you want to change the effect you can change the slide effect let's change the effect let's make it slide save it refresh and check it this is the slide effect and let's try the other one that is fade refresh it this is the fade effect so using this free plugin you can add any blog in the slider it can be title image info box call to action countdown images image gallery or if you have woocommerce website you can also add products in a slider and the name of the plugin is sliderberg if you want to create a slider on your wordpress website you can try using this free plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.